adding and subtracting integer numbers. Adding. You add when the signs are the same. You want them to be the same and stay the same. Positive numbers. Let a black dot represent a positive number. So if you have five, that would be represented by one, two, three, four, five. Negative numbers, let a red dot represent a negative number. When a business is bad, you say that the business is operating in the red. So we use red for negative numbers. So negative three is negative one plus negative one plus negative one. I have three negatives. So six plus two would be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So I'm going to add them together, so I'm merging them all together. And I get eight. So six plus two is eight. While that may seem really obvious, let's apply that same principle with the negatives. So if I have negative six, I need six little red dots. Six negatives. And negative two would give me a couple more little red dots. So when I merge those all together, I'm adding negatives plus negatives plus negative plus a negative plus a negative plus another negative plus another negative to give me negative eight. Now, this may feel obvious that one minus one is zero. Since one take away one is zero, you want to look at pairing up any positive or negatives to cancel. So one plus negative one is, pair them up, and they cancel. So that gives me zero. So six plus negative two. So let's bring in six positives. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to add in two negatives. And that's going to give me, when I merge them together, right now the positives and negatives, I want to pair them up. So this positive and negative cancel. And that positive and negative cancel, so I'm left with four positives. Okay, so how about negative six plus two? That's six negatives. And two positives. When they merge together, I get adding them together, put them into one big pile. And so the positive and the negative cancel. Positive and the negative cancel. So I'm left with negative four. So four plus negative three. So what does that look like? Negative four plus negative three 
equals, I'm going to add them, so I get negative 7. Now negative 2 plus 5, that's negative 2 plus positive 5. So in this case I'm going to subtract because some of the positives and negatives are going to cancel. So I'm going to be left with 3 positives. And then negative 3 plus positive 1. And again, I'm going to subtract since I have to take away some pairs. So I'm going to be left with negative 2. I have two more negatives. And then negative 2 plus negative 2. I'm going to add these together. None of them cancel, so I'm going to end up with negative 4. And last but not least, negative 3 plus positive 3. I'm going to have to subtract. I have positives and negatives. They're undoing each other, so they cancel. And the third set cancels, so I'm left with 0.